O oh, Orsius Ecclesia, girded with divine arms and adorned with hyacinth, you are the Caldemia of the wounds of the Loifels and the city of sciences. O oh, O, oh, and you are the Chrysantha in high sound, and you are the Chortza gem. This translation of the only surviving text from the unknown language of St. Hildegard of Bingen was authored by Dr. Sarah L. Higley, an esteemed researcher on medieval languages. Upon reading these words, one cannot help but wonder if the secret mystical language contained within this brief passage may have been the initial stages of a much larger project. In addition, when we recall the other works of Hildegard of Bingen, one also wonders if her unique language was a form of divine mystical communication. Hildegard of Bingen was formally canonized in 2012 by Pope Benedict XVI and given the honor Doctor of the Church. In history, only four women have received this high honor. For these and other high achievements, Medieval to Modern wishes to explore one of the most hidden secrets of medieval writings. What is this secret language brought forth by Hildegard of Bingen? Hildegard of Bingen, the acclaimed writer, musical composer, and herbalist, was born in the county of Spanheim, modern-day Germany, during the year 1098 AD. Over the course of her remarkable lifetime, she performed many miracles and founded two monasteries. Her many miracles and accuracy of vision in medieval times made her command a rare degree of respect for a woman's knowledge. Twenty of these miracles were recorded by her biographer, Theodoric, a Benedictine monk, based on previous memoirs from another monk. Hildegard of Bingen, who displayed many talents during her fascinating existence, passed away on September the 17th, 1179. Today, a growing number of people are rediscovering the achievements of this captivating saint. Recently, increasing interest has been focused on one of Hildegard of Bingen's greatest unsolved mysteries. This highly creative abbess described and developed lingua ignota, Latin for unknown language. The grammar is unknown, and the only surviving text mentioned at the beginning of this episode contains this language's words embedded in Latin. The alphabet for this mystical language consists of 23 letters, which are described as literae ignotae, or unknown letters. This unknown language, created by Hildegard of Bingen around the year 1150 AD, has been estimated to have taken eight years to develop, or until around 1158 AD. It is also thought by some scholars to have been just the beginning of a larger linguistic project she was developing. It is considered by various researchers as the oldest surviving example of a constructed language. The mystery of lingua ignota is thought by various people familiar with the subject to be a coded language, which adds to the interest in this medieval text. Lingua ignota was introduced hundreds of years before the carbon dating of the Voynich manuscript, which has been estimated between 1404 and 1438 AD. Lingua ignota is widely assumed to have been written as a secret Christian mystical language which Hildegard of Bingen used for both religious purposes and describing her immediate environment. Unlike the Voynich manuscript, we know the author of this language in a partial glossary. Though similar to the Voynich manuscript, we still cannot fully understand the purpose and ultimate plans this female saint had for her mystical language. Hildegard of Bingen claims to have learned lingua ignota through inspiration from the divine realm and not through human teaching, similar to how she received her musical compositions. To this day, we do not know who else was familiar with this language other than its creator. Though contained in one codex, the source of lingua ignota has been described as the unknown language brought forth by the simple human Hildegard. In regards to codices, researchers note two main sources for the lingua ignota. The first we shall mention is the recent codex, or Wiesbaden Codex, which is a compilation of Hildegard of Bingen's writings collected while this saint was still living. There exists a hierarchical glossary for these 1,011 invented words, with priority shown to divine beings, starting with God and the angels. A sample of these words include Igons for God, Egons for angels, Inamois for human, and Corzinthio for prophet. This glossary consists primarily of nouns, used in combination with Latin for verbs, adjectives, and grammar. Thus, this unknown language was substituted into existing grammar, though followed no grammatical rules. The lingua ignota can be found around the midpoint of this codex. The second codex is known as Berlin MS, though it is not as complete a record. 
Recently, it has been suggested by some people that Lingua Ignota was Hildegard of Bingen's way of putting women's perspectives and experiential knowledge into the male-dominated power structures and high official languages of her times. In keeping with her surprisingly forward-thinking views, at a time when women were given little platforms and higher learning, it would have been a clever way to introduce such perspectives. The existence of lingua ignota was known at that time since Valmar, a friend of the saint, asked in a letter, where then? the voice of the unheard language, while her health was failing. Furthermore, it has been noted by some researchers that in a letter dating from 1153 AD to Pope Anastasius, Hildegard herself states she miraculously received an alphabet not known by others and much harmonious music. So, it cannot be completely dismissed that perhaps lingua ignota has in part a religious source from which it was created. Taking another viewpoint, Hildegard of Bingen, founder of a monastic community that went against conventions of her time, possibly used lingua ignota to develop the identity, relationships, and uniqueness of her isolated monastic community. Unfortunately, it appears there were no initiates that could carry on the secrets of the language. Therefore, the true meaning and intent behind Hildegard of Bingen's lingua ignota remains a mystery. Today, lingua ignota remains the secret mystical language of a saint. Perhaps scholars or researchers in the future may discover hidden texts or codices which will uncover more words or meanings behind lingua ignota. Or perhaps the writings of a contemporary, colleague, or friend of this saint may be discovered, providing more clues as to why Hildegard of Bingen brought forth lingua ignota. There have been well-researched theories as to the meaning and purpose behind this mystical language. Though until more definitive evidence is presented, the true sources and meanings behind lingua ignota remain open for discussion and research. Unfortunately, the only person that could provide answers to these questions passed away in 1179 AD. Medieval to Modern made two previous episodes on this unique medieval saint. The first episode in this series covered her prophecies for the end of time. The second episode addressed her prophecies on the Antichrist. We feel that the powerful messages of Hildegard of Bingen must be heard today when one realizes the exceptional gifts she possessed in her fascinating life. Thank you for supporting us at Medieval to Modern. Please be sure to watch our next episode or one shown at the end of this video. Also be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and spread the word about this channel so we can create more exciting content. I wish you good tidings as we remember that sharing knowledge has been a noble deed throughout the ages.